Well, good morning, my dear friends. Today I am going to talk with regards to the motivational ideas for you all, where motivation is very much important in our life. In our life, without having motivation, life is like a journey without any destination. Clear. Well, let me explain the topic of the day today that I am going to motivate you all with regards to the topic that is positive mindset brings positive things. What does it mean? Mindset. Mind means mind of you. Set means how you are setting your mind. And there are two ways we uh, distinguish our mindset one is positive and that is called negative right uh, forget about negative thinking negative set of mind negative behavioral approach negative ideology negative uh, approaches for earning money or negative activities otherwise when you have that kinds of quality that you have brought up that means it will be the positive things clear let me explain with this some relevant points which will be very much important for you all well friends this uh, sentence or ethics has been told by the great philosopher norman vincent Peale. well uh, in the world today follows his uh, thought and ideology that is called positive mindset brings positive things. Well, let me uh, give some points of understanding with this relevant ideology that hey, free from hate and mental problems. Number two, of course, number three is live worriedness and less stress in life. Number four, live simply in daily affairs. Number five, expect little, not much. Number six, give much, avoid negative thinking of you. Number seven, forget selfish motive. Number eight, think for others. Well, friends, uh, being a motivational uh, teacher, I will say you, why is that said about that positive mindset that has to be built up and it will automatically give you or brings the positive thinking of you. Free from hate and mental problems. See, hate doesn't give you good result. Hate increases problems and problems, if you carry on with it, that means ultimately it will be creating more problems for you. Let the problems be lesser in your life right if the problems are less in your life or lesser in your life it will be automatically a solvation for you or solve matters for you so i will say you free from hating others remember all human beings are the creator of god and we all have to think about not for us think for others Happiness comes for thinking for others. Happiness doesn't come thinking for yourself or thinking for your kith and kins. Well, and then uh, away from the mental problems, there's so many things uh, are coming in your mind to have desired yourself, getting, wishing, approaching, uh, obtainment. So, all things come together make you in trouble so do away your mental problems be not confused rather think about in straight forward line what to do and go with that the same straight line well second one leave worriedness and less stress so worry uh, is a part of life each and every moment of our life we are entangled with oriness right some see i have given example for an half an hour that you passed across sometimes you are very much happy seeing some good things or you know handling some good things at the same time within that speculated period of time you also were 
uh, not happy because you met with some other problems being created by someone for you. So worriedness will be the part of it and uh, leave it, think about the part of our, uh, your life and you have to, uh, you have to do it. And you have to tackle that oriness in your life and less stress. Stress is what when you have got uh, built up yourself that activities which is not, uh, you know, suppressed by you or suppressed by you. Your mind is not able to tackle the activities that you have taken up. Being a responsible person, take the acts which are capable for you to finish up or getting the result properly. Well, live simply in daily affairs. So life is a luxurious one if you think like so. Nothing is permanent. Everything is temporary or ephemeral. Today, whatever you are, tomorrow it will not be like that. King became beggar, beggar became king. There were many examples. Give an example of the King Harishchandra from India who was a keeper of a cemetery garden at the end of the, his life. So nobody can predict in what will happen in the next period of time of his life. Clear? So uh, live simply in daily affair. Think big. Big thinking is not bad for us. Expect little, not much. If you think, ex if you expect much, what happens? You will be between two boards. Think about the capacity and capability of you. If you are capable of handling yourself for doing that thing done, that means you can accept. You can accept it. But if it is not done that you have already projected in your life, then do not do. So many people, what they try for. Uh, you know, competitive exams which are not uh, fit for him or uh, uh, he or she do not do practice but they are attempting themselves. They have got that desire that to be done in the future course of time. For it perseverance, hardworking, discipline and other things are very much important. So uh, expect little, not much. If you expect much, you have to do much. Otherwise, it is not possible. Give much and avoid negative thinking. As I said many times, if you do your act properly, to do the act in a straight way, do the best uh, activities of your action, right? So that you can, you may get the result properly. And uh, if you think about that, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, these words are really, really, really bad. So think about that, I can, I can, I can. If you think always positive, can will be automatically the part of your goal or result oriented orientation. Well, forget selfish motive. There are people who always think for themselves, for earning money, for getting luxurious life, they are involved in doing some bad things. Clear, becoming a rich man in a day, somebody is doing smuggling, right? And being arrested, going to the jail. And you know, spending time in a jail is nothing but you are spoiling your life as well as the members of your family. So do not do that, which is not very much good for you. Last one, but not the least thing for others. Thinking others uh, for you is uh, like that giving lies to the society. You are not a known person, but you will be a personality of known person when you are doing the best service for the society. Giving the best service for the society is giving the best to the God. God is great, sees everything, right? Result not in your hand, result in the hands of God. Thank you very much for getting information with regards to this topic or ethics. If you like, then do subscribe, please.